Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting updates. So the first one, uh, it's just a little photo of the guys who are doing the guest posing, a couple of them. The guest posing is gonna start in about 3 hours after I upload this video, and before it goes down we got this uh, one photo. So in my videos usually I was saying that Nick Walker is probably gonna look the most impressive on that stage, because again he's one week out and he's a freak, he's a monster. Derek Lansford always looks amazing in his guest posings, because his physique kinda looks really good when he's a little bit bigger, when he's a little bit, when he has the fullness like in his legs especially, and he never really goes out of shape, so he's probably in that as well, uh, Hunter Labrada, who got up to 300 pounds this offseason, and Samson Daura is also one of the biggest guys today as far as the top guys, uh, but he's off, he has been off for like 8 weeks since the Arnold UK, so he's probably not gonna be amongst the best guys. Now, I totally forgot and underestimated Andrew freaking jacked, because look at this guy right here next to Hunter and, and Derek and even Samson, yeah, he kind of got the angle, but with this height and with the gains he made in the past off season, I mean, this guy is probably there is a big chance of this guy stealing the show and being the most impressive guy on this stage because he's so freaking big. And no, he is not doing Dubai Pro. He's definitely out. It was confirmed. It's official. So he's deep into his off season, and he looks bigger than ever. In all of his training videos and physique updates, he looks like he's doing exactly what was needed for him to excel in his career. I mean, he has done so much since he turned pro, he won so many great shows, he plays super high at the Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia, but, you know, there was still something left to be desired, and that was just a little bit more muscle, just a little bit more thickness, because he's extremely tall, and now look at him, look at the size of this freaking guy. Does he look, look, you can't see it now because of this guy's blocking the camera, but you can see like he's definitely big. I mean, he was always big, but it looks like he took it to another level. And if that is the case, I can definitely see him potentially like, I don't know, challenging Samson Dauda. It wasn't that far off at the Arnold Classic back when he placed third after Nick Walker. If he had just a little bit more muscle with his shape, and with this conditioning that he only brought to the Arnold Classic 2023 stage, that was like his best conditioning ever, Chris Sitter really did a great job with him here, so if he brings something like this again, with, let's say, I mean, I would say usually 5 to 10 pounds, but on his frame, with his height, that's probably not enough, he probably needs like another 20 pounds, so if he can pull that off, and come in bigger, you know, at like, I don't know, 300 pounds on stage, kind of like what Samson Dowder is doing, I mean, he has prettier shape than Samson, his midsection is better, his waist is smaller, I think he has a bigger back, bigger lats, and arms, maybe they are a little bit stringy now, but if he gains more muscle, I think he has like a better peak on his bicep, and again, he is finally doing the smart thing. He's being patient, he's waiting for his time, he's waiting to put on the necessary mass, and if that happens... I mean, in my eyes, he's better than Nick Walker. So again, with some more muscle, with good conditioning, this guy can definitely be in the mix with like Hadi and, and Derek, and you know, with his frame, with his size and height and everything, he can truly be a dominant force at a Mr. Olympia. Potentially, he can even win the Mr. Olympia. I can definitely see that happening. And now that he's doing what he's doing, it's very possible. So I'm really excited to see the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing and see what kind of improvements did he actually make, because as you can see right here, he is dwarfing basically Derek Lansford, the current Mr. Olympia. I mean, of course, that does not have to mean anything necessarily, as long as Derek has those crazy details in, in his glutes and hamstrings and that crazy back, it's gonna be difficult for anybody to really beat him, but looking at Andrew right here, oh man, I think he might steal the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. Let's see, in a couple of hours, guys. Stay tuned on this channel, you're gonna see a review of that guest posing right here. The only guest poser at this show uh, from Classic Physique is going to be Urs Kalecinski, and we got this physique update uh, of him. Now, as you can see, his conditioning is looking great. He didn't really gain any body fat, really. He didn't get watery. He looks very dry, very lean, but 
you know, does he look big enough right now? I mean, big enough to stand next to those guys? Man, I feel like he's gonna be smoked. He's not gonna be even noticeable on that stage. I mean, I'm a classic competitor. I love classic and that's all awesome. But, you know, the freaks are the freaks. The big guys are freaking big, much bigger than, than Urs right now. Urs right here looks like, 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 his upper body looks like an average a men's physique competitor. So, I mean, he is not gonna compare well. But then, I mean, it's awesome that he has the courage to step on that stage with those big guys. I think this is exactly the reason why Chris Bumstead is not gonna do it. He's gonna appear, he's gonna do a little bit of his talk or whatever, uh, motivational speech, I don't know what he's gonna talk about, but he's not gonna take his clothes off. Some of you might think that he's scared, and some others would say that he's uh, smart. Because he doesn't need to be dwarfed by these freaking open guys. And Urs doesn't care. Urs just wants to be seen. He wants exposure as much as possible. And I think he's doing a great job promoting classic physique and all that. But like, if we're talking strictly physique-wise, can he compare? Can he be relevant on that stage against freaking Andrew Jack? Hunter Labrada, who is 300 pounds. Uh, Nick Walker, who is like, I don't know, 60 to 70, one week out. So on, I mean, it's gonna be silly, but yeah, I think it's gonna be an interesting addition. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how much bigger uh, those open guys are compared to Classic. It would be amazing, though, if Wesley Wissers showed up. That would be a different story. Wesley, with his height and with his size, I think he would definitely compare very well, especially to shorter bodybuilders. As far as I know, he's a little bit taller even than Andrew Jacked. So imagine him standing next to Derek, or, I don't know, Nick Walker. I mean, especially with his size, especially now in the offseason, that he got a little bit chubby. I mean, not really chubbier, he's also very lean. Very, very lean right now. He's just big and full and round. That would be epic. That would be amazing. He would be a great representation for classic bodybuilders. But, like, I mean, how many classic bodybuilders are this size? That's, that's really rare, and that might be the reason why they didn't even invite him, maybe they thought about calling him to go over there to guest pose, but they thought he's literally gonna dwarf some open bodybuilders, that would not be a great look for the open class, so fortunately for them, Wesley is not showing up, but Urs, one of the smallest top classy guys, is gonna show up, but who knows, maybe next year, maybe next year Wesley shows up full-blown in the offseason at like, I don't know, over 300 pounds, <laughs> that would be amazing to see. Alright, next up I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Beef Stew, somebody who people, I believe, are sleeping on right now. Not a lot of people have this guy in their top three at the upcoming New York Pro, a lot of people are actually having Quinton Araya beating this guy. Is that gonna happen? Personally, I do not think so. I mean, I think it's gonna be a battle, but I don't know, because look at this freaking guy, how big he actually is. And I don't think we can get the idea really until we see him on stage finally, but he's freaking round like a freaking circle. I mean, look at the thickness of those freaking legs. And look at how high his quads are inserted. That's a genetic trait that not a lot of bodybuilders have. Like, one of the bodybuilders that comes to mind with this kind of genetic gift was Sean Roden. And that's why his legs were so impressive, because his quads, his uh, vestus lateralis was inserted very, very high. And look at the beef stews. It's inserting literally to his waist, to his trunks. I mean, that's extremely rare. So his legs are freaking round as hell. And uh, Quinton doesn't have that, that's for sure. As far as the upper body, he's not lacking any mass. He's freaking monstrous. He's round and big everywhere. And let me tell you one more thing. Quinton Araya does not have a back like this. His lats are definitely not this wide. And I don't believe his glutes and his lower back is gonna be this shredded. Look at the freaking lower lats. Look at those freaking striations. Look at that freaking Christmas tree. So, Beef Stew is definitely coming very, very strong, and I think, based on what I'm seeing right here, he might even challenge guys like Martin Fitzwater or Tony Burton. I don't know if it's gonna be much of a battle with Quinton Araya. I mean, I don't, I can't imagine Quinton beating this. 
Yeah, I know how tall he is and how pretty his physique is, uh, how aesthetic his shape is and the flow and all that, I know, but... I mean, man, this is bodybuilding. This is about freak factor. And look at this freaking guy. This is a legit freak right here. So I think this guy might place as high as second, and it might be an interesting call out with him and Nick Walker. That's a possibility, guys, in my opinion. So don't sleep on Beef Stew. I know he doesn't have the biggest name at his show, but I think he might surprise a lot of people. What do you guys think? Alright, finally we get a little physique update from Keon Pearson. We got a full physique update, but first let's check out this one in the gym in clothing. So as you can see, this guy is definitely blowing up. And from what I heard from him, from podcasts, he is freaking driven. He is freaking devoted to the max, right? I mean, he is really trying to improve. And I believe last year he had like maybe like 8 to 10 pounds to his weight cap in 212. So he definitely has room to put on muscle, to improve, to just get bigger. And I think he just did that. I think this year it's gonna be a struggle to make the weight, I don't know what his weight is exactly right now, but I don't think it's close to 212, I think it's more like, I don't know, 230s, I would guess, 240 maybe even, I wouldn't be too surprised if he was 240 right here, he is as wide as he is tall, basically, and I know how dominant of a champion Sean Clarida was, but I just don't see him defeating this guy ever again, I mean, how much can Sean Clarida improve, really, I think he was maxed out a couple of years ago, and Keon has ways to go, and if he beat Sean Clarida last year, with these new improvements, yeah, I think he's there to stay, I mean, stay for some time before he moves to the open, I definitely do believe this guy is gonna move to the open, as I think he should, but as long as he doesn't have any trouble making the weight, and maybe like give him a couple of years to be at the top of 212, to be, you know, the best guy in his category, after a couple of years, if he keeps progressing at this pace, he's not gonna be able to make the weight, and uh, he's gonna get bored with winning 212 Mr. Olympia titles, and I think at that point he's gonna move to the Open, and I think he's gonna do really well in the Open as well. And as you can see right here uh, in the offseason, I would say he's a little bit uh, chubbier than most Patrick Tours guys. I'm not saying he is fat, but he is holding some water, Usually Patrick's guys are all super dry the entire offseason, and they still make progress somehow, I have no idea how, but Keon is a little bit different, and I think this is exactly why he's gonna make the most progress. Personally, I believe in hard bulking, when you wanna put the most amount of muscle possible in short time. So I think the progress that he's gonna make this year is gonna be tremendous, I think he's gonna win the 212 again this year, and stay there for as long as he wants, or for as long as he can make the weight, which I don't think it's gonna be for too long, whatever you guys think, tell us down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, for more videos like this, for example, the Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing one in a couple of hours, stay tuned guys, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.